Hi, I'm Mark from Mark of the Cyber Beast, and this week's episode is 15 tips to increase the battery life and the longevity of your Cybertruck. So stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, welcome back. Now we've got 15 tips that are gonna prolong the life of your Cybertruck's battery. Now the Cybertruck uses 4680 batteries, okay? It's the newer battery technology from Tesla. They comprise of 123 kilowatt hours of battery storage, and it's made up of 1,344 individual cells that come in at 816 volts. All this battery weighs about 1,587 pounds. Okay, trivial knowledge you probably don't care about, but it's kind of cool anyway to know what's powering your Cybertruck, whether it's an all-wheel drive or the beast. Now, number one, I want to let you know that the percentage of battery is much more accurate than your miles. So on the upper left-hand side, you can press on it and toggle between percent and miles the percent is going to be a lot more accurate than miles. So that's just tip number one. Tip number two, remember if you're charging at home and you should be charging at home like all the time if possible to avoid any high dollar times like where we are in South Carolina between uh, 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. It's a high usage, high dollar time. So you can program your either your charger or your truck to go ahead and not charge during those times to reduce your costs. Number three, FSD uses power. So if you really want to get as much range as possible, don't use it. It is going to be safer, but guess what? It's compute time, okay? Remember, with an ICE, an internal combustion engine, when you're running that car, if you have the air conditioning on or the heat on and you've got the radio playing, etc. Uh, the defog or the defrost on, it does not affect your gas mileage, okay? But you're running off battery. So FSD will use the computer and will use battery time. Number four, the number one use of power in your Cybertruck is heat and AC. So whenever you use climate, it's going to degrade your battery performance or, or length of your battery on that charge. So just remember that. So that brings me to number four five okay if you want to have your battery last longer per charge avoid using the climate control the climate mode so when you're not in your vehicle it doesn't get too hot it's an inconvenience it's going to make your truck hot but again it will eat up battery number six should be pretty obvious if you use spotify and things like that again that's a power usage it's going to reduce your your battery life you can probably use your phone, but again, if you Bluetooth it to your stereo, powering those amazing speakers and that blistering amp requires power. Number seven, avoid rapid acceleration. Now here's the chill pill for that. Chill mode. Chill mode is your chill pill. If you put your Cybertruck in chill mode, okay, you're gonna avoid the rapid acceleration and that is gonna help improve your range. So if you're going on trips, you're gonna to wanna to put it in chill mode uh, or at least a custom mode where you're, you're in a comfort mode and you're raised up, but it's chill for the driving acceleration. Number eight, reduce your speeding. Whenever you're going 80, 85 miles an hour, you're gonna lose range in your vehicle. So keep it within five miles of the speed limit and you'll be able to go further. Number nine, avoid using the brake. Now you're gonna to have to use the brake to stop, but if you don't follow too closely, let your foot off the accelerator and coast more. Use the um, the golf cart type feel, right? With your with your Tesla, and your Cybertruck's going to, especially because of the weight of that thing over 6,000 pounds, right? It's gonna naturally slow down and use the regenerative braking. So try to avoid the use of the brake unless it's an emergency situation. Number ten. Supercharging reduces battery life. Only use supercharging if you're going on trips. That's the only time I ever use it. Again, if you're in an apartment complex and you don't have a charger like you do in a home, I get it, but that is gonna kill your battery. Number 11, 
preconditioned before you supercharge. Remember to always put your destination in so that uh, it'll automatically uh, precondition for you. If you just go up to a supercharge and it's cold, that is gonna degrade battery life, okay? Now, number 12, I don't, a lot of you I think are doing it, only charge to 80% of your battery, okay? Have that as your default. They say 60 to 80, some people do 70. I kinda like 80. Now here's the next three that I think very few people know about. So you wanna stay tuned for these three. Number 13, lucky 13, when you go on vacation or you're not using your vehicle for prolonged periods of time, set your charge max for 50%, okay? And leave it plugged in, okay? That is the best way to use your battery and keep your battery in, in great shape. Number 14, it is always better to charge more often than let it run very low and get a big charge. So remember, you know, you can go 300 miles on a full charge or 330 with the all wheel drive. But let's just say you're at 80% and that's I think 240 or so for the beast. Uh, you don't wanna have that 240 go down to 30 miles and then go ahead and then charge it at that point. That 230, if that goes down to 150 or 170, you can charge it again. Charge it for shorter periods, okay? More often than letting it run down. In the past, when you were young, if you had rechargeable batteries or with your phone, they always told you, run it real low and then charge it up. You do not want to do this with these 4680 batteries. Finally, number 15, the one you've been waiting for. Charge when it's cooler if you can. So in the summer months, if you're in a warm climate, plug your, your vehicle in, your Cybertruck and your other Teslas, uh, later in the day or set it to charge at night when the sun goes down and it's cooler. And believe it or not, that's actually better for your battery, okay? These are all tips from Tesla and from people in the Tesla community who know how to preserve that 4680 battery in your Cybertruck. I wanna thank you for joining us this week. Please tell your friends and remember, like always, comment. I wanna hear your comments and questions. Hit like, hit subscribe, and we're gonna see you next time on Mark of the Cyber Beast.